ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة how does the lay person know which opinion to follow in matters where there are many strong opinions? For example, I know Sheikh Albani's opinion about the niqab, but I get doubts. I am just following uh, that I am just following this based upon desires. Yes, this is an issue. Sheikh Abdulaziz ibn Baz rahimahullah answered this question when he was asked, "Oh Sheikh, that when the scholars they differ about an issue in fiqh, of course in aqidah, the scholars are united, right? So there's no point in in having this discussion about the aqidah. Aqidah is one." The aqidah of Malik, Shafi, Ahmed, Abu Hanifa, except in that one issue. In general, the aqidah is one. Right? So the aqidah, there's no difference. So now, of course, the question is here. In matters of ijtihad. Amur ijtihadiyya, far'iyya. So they are from the branches of the religion, and they are open to ijtihad. Then, if the scholars differ, your sheikh, they said to Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz, what should I do? He said, follow the one that comes with the evidence. Don't complicate matters. Like, for example, in the issue of niqab, since that's the example brought, Shaykh al-Albani said that there's a hadith of Asma bint Abi Bakr reported in the Sunan that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw her and she was dressed in a garment that did not cover her correctly. So he said, Oh Asma, I should not see any part of you except for this and this. And he pointed to the face and the two hands. Khalas, there's your evidence for al-Albani. Then the person Sheikh bin Baz said, cover the face. And Sheikh bin Taymin said, cover the face. You have a hadith. Sheikh bin Baz himself said, you have a hadith now. So now you can act upon the hadith. Right, so the hadith is sahih without doubt. The hadith is sahih. And who said it's sahih? The Imam of Ahlul Sunnah in hadith of this era, Shaykh al-Albani, and many of the Salaf. Hardly anyone really question the authenticity of the hadith. But even if they do, there are the hadith also, like the hadith of the black woman in, on Yawm al-Eid. When the Prophet Sallallahu encouraged the women to give, to give sadaqah. So a black woman, she stood up and her cheeks were black and dark. Narrated by the narrator. Because the face was uncovered. The hadith after the stoning of the Jamara, Jamaratul Aqaba. That the, that the two companions, the male companion and the female companion were glancing at each other. Her face was uncovered and he was glancing at her and she was glancing at him. The Prophet ﷺ grabbed his chin and turned his face away. Right? Because that was the politeness of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ. He just grabbed his chin and turned it away. Like, you're not supposed to be looking at her, son. Right? So her face was uncovered. So now you have three texts. You can go with that. A person says, Fear Allah, Lajna Da'ima said, Say, uh, sister, I have hadith. I have hadith. And I have alim. I have hadith. And I have Shaykh al-Albani. And the jumhur of the salaf. If you want to go by scholars. So this is what Shaykh Abdul Aziz bin Ba said. Look for the one that has the evidence. If you have the evidence, just go. The scholar with his evidence, go. No problem. As long as the alim is mu'tabar. mu'tabar. Meaning the alim is an alim that is Worthy of being called an alim. He is worthy of the title. Right? So, the likes of Sheikh bin Baz in this era, because the, the ulama of the era are important to us because they're the ones who give the fatwa for the nawazil and for the umur ishtihadiyya that are occurring in our times and so on. So, Sheikh bin Baz, Sheikh bin Uthaymin, Sheikh al-Albani, rahimahumullahu ta'ala, the likes of Sheikh Abdul Muslim al-Abbad, the likes of Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali, the likes of Ubaid bin Abdullah al-Jabri, Ahmed al-Najmi, Zayd al-Madkhali, Muqbil bin Hadi, and other than them from the ulama, that you can go to them and look at their evidences and go forth. No harm. Uh, then, Sheikh bin, then Sheikh bin Baz said, if after looking at the evidences, you find that both sides are giving evidences and they both seem to be contradicting, then he said, in that situation, if you have no ability to make jam between the nusus, then look at that which the majority of the scholars who are experts in that field are upon and go with them as that is the safest position. Because that is the less gharib position. So in an issue where the scholars, they differ, and both of them have brought you evidence. But now you're trying to put the evidence together because you're just a general person, lay person. And you have no way of, well... Pfft, Looking at these two, they contradict. So what does the person do? Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Baz said, in that situation, look at the experts in that field, who are the scholars known for fiqh or hadith or whatever, and take what the, what the majority of them are upon, because that will be safer for you, up until you have the ability to do more. So that gives also an encouragement to a person to study more.